You're watching the Fox 9 Morning News. But first, let's check in with M.A. Roscoe. Spring is most definitely in the air, but it's on the floor as well, right by my side, throughout the halls of Galleria. I'm M.A. Roscoe. I'm going to take you to the first ever flower experience here on Fox 9 Morning News. Welcome back. It's 645. As far as spring fever is concerned, we, we've got it, and there's not much we can do about it. Uh, but the good news is there is a cure, and it might be at the Galleria. Uh, listen up. Now, the first ever floral experience by Bachman's has just taken over the entire mall. I mean, Roscoe takes us on a tour with Dale Bachman. Oh, winter weary eyeballs of Minnesota taking in all those shades of gray and black and gravel and sadness. We are turning on the color inside Galleria because spring is in the air. And I'm joined by the architect behind it all, Dale Bachman. Well, this is a new locale for you. It's not, it's not a flower show per se, but there are lots of flowers and it is a show. Yes, a floral experience and welcome. It's great to have you here. Uh, it is a new venue for us, maybe the start of a new tradition. Galleria has evolved over many years to be what it is today. And it's long, believe me. The first night when we started setting up, I had clocked about 29,000 steps. So if you're, if you're counting steps, you're going to get those in oh. if you want to take it in because it's sort of, it's laid out in a way that's linear. It's the entire length of the mall. And we started on the east end, and this was the finish line. Now we're on the west end. And it took us, well, three full nights and a fourth, about a half a night to finish up. Uh, it was tremendous fun. Uh, and now to see the guests enjoying it, that's what it's all about, especially the children. Ladies, what's, what's more beautiful, the flowers or the diamonds inside Tiffany? Oh. <laughs> Tough, right? The flowers. So. Flowers. We, we came flowers. for the flowers. I've got Good. Tiffany sitting in a box at home. Oh, you're cheap dates. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in addition to some 100 different types of plants, flowers, trees, you're going to notice a lot of butterflies. They're not alive, but you will notice a lot of butterflies. And we've got butterflies and bicycles and birdhouses, but we're really near the butterfly tree. Mm -hmm. And there's about 250 different types of butterflies. And Jack Barkla is our theatrical designer that created the sets. And his idea was that all the butterflies should be white. And so on the columns, we've got wonderful butterflies that we had to create out of aluminum cans. We found a great craftsperson, and she helped us with that. But then there are some special butterflies for the children to find. Okay, there's a purple one that I found. How many are there there's scattered throughout? eight of those purple butterflies from east to west in the mall. And they're not easy to spot. And there's one, I'll give a hint, there's one on the lower level near Barnes & Noble. Well, Dale, this is the most unusual looking tree I've ever seen. I think it's been manipulated. It has. <laughs> Louis Rutten is a, a grower for us out at our greenhouses, was responsible for producing many of the plants that are in the flower show, but he's an artist as well. So he created this frame and harvested the willow wood from wetland areas and in December started to wind this and create it and put it in soil and it roots and it grows, and it's a piece of living art. Well, that's part of the magic of the Bachman's growers making things like this happen in the middle of spring. That's right. Early spring. Be sure to check it out. It's here at Galleria through April 8th, and if you need some help with parking, there is valet parking near Cove Restaurant. Back to you. Yeah, that looks really I pretty, doesn't it? Can you imagine what it smells mm, like in there? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is Instagram worthy, all right. I am M.A. Roscoe at Galleria, where spring is in the air. It's a flower experience like you've never seen before. Why, look, it's a great big shopping bag ready to greet you. We're going to take you to the flower experience coming up. You know, something new has sprouted in place of the old Macy's Spring Flower Show. Bachman's is still supplying the colorful blooms, but now it is kind of a floral experience at the Galleria. Hmm. M.A. Roscoe takes us to Edina to see how flowers are being served up all kinds of different ways. Well, I know I'm at one end of the Galleria's Spring is in the Air flower experience because there is a large hydrangea ball, and there's one at either end of the mall. This is a linear flower experience, is it not, Dale Bachman? Now, I have a guide here, but, but who needs that? 
We're, we have Dale Bachman. We're so happy that you're here. I can and, tell. And the hanging baskets that occur out in Longwood Gardens are just gorgeous out in Pennsylvania. And this is a little reminiscent of those beautiful hanging baskets. But we're surrounded here by hydrangea that are planted and, and larch and aspen and magnolias. Uh, but we are on the east end, a long way from where you started. Yeah. So how many truckloads did it take to fill in this? Again, it's, it's going to look different from flower shows that you may be used to. That's right. It was about uh, three and a half nights uh, working to set up the flower show and about five semi-loads of plants. Uh, We've got over 450 pots of spring flowering bulbs and tulips and daffodils and hyacinths and those will be changed out midway through. And then we garden every morning before the guests get here so it's fresh So each day. much work to keep it looking good and when you walk in be sure to take a big deep breath. It Inhale. is the breath It smells spring. wonderful. As it turns out, restaurants here at Galleria are getting into the swing of spring. Cheers to that. My hand is heavy, not just because I'm holding a floral cocktail, but look at these beautiful baubles from Scheherazade. I know my hand has never felt so less ham-fisted, shall we say. Okay, Rachel, what do we have here? Okay, so you're right. Not only can you see florals in the hallways, you can see it in the restaurants, too. Cove has a sushi with a delectable orchid garnish. You can actually eat the orchid. Um, beverages, also important. Uh, hibiscus margarita. D nothing left in the glass. Make sure you eat the hibiscus at the end. I'd rather eat the hibiscus than a warm <laughs> bottle of a tequila bottle. Way more sure. delicious. Yes. The mussels, they're, they're in a floral broth. And again, you can eat the florals. Nothing left behind. Clean Plate Club of uh, People's Organic. They did um, some shortbread cookies and actually pressed florals into the cookies. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> and dessert is not ignored either, is it? Nope, not at all. So Good Earth, beautiful cupcake designs with florals on the top. Almost too pretty to eat, almost, but I still a person learned. Well, be sure to check it out because restaurants will be offering these floral specials through the length of the flower show, the flower experience, Correct. which is through April 8th. Back to you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's good to see it, it move because we, it, yeah. it was always fun to go up to the eighth floor at the downtown Macy's mm -hmm. for the flower show. So now it's a, a new location yeah. and I'll bet it's just going to be a very busy place this weekend. It's I would think on my, so. on my, uh, my calendar for this weekend. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll put it on Maybe mine Saturday. too. Maybe we'll bump into each other. Maybe we will. <laughs> we'll uh, smell the tulips together. I like it. Or the roses. I guess tulips don't really smell. We might tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> we might tiptoe. That's a better way to do it.